coming to Los Patos, don't forget to check out the cave. <laughs> If you visit Los Patos, there's one more place to visit as well, right next to it. Supposedly there's uh, Indian caves here, they call it. Let's check it out. Uh. Well, there's a little cave system here, um, like little, like very small. Usually when they say Indian caves, there's uh, writings. I don't see any, I don't see any writings. I don't see any native writings. Well, they put this walkway here. So you can look at it, but it's not much to see, really. It's kind of like, like in a movie, you know. Okay, yeah, that's, that is different. Standing now inside of a big cave, which is full of bats. That is cool. Oh, there's some stairs here. I should have brought a flashlight. Whoa, oh yeah. So now we're talking. Full of bats here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. Oh yeah. I always feel shivers down my spine. Why? Let's go explore. Deep. There's gotta be a lot of guano down here. A lot of bats here. <laughs> There's a huge hole in here. The cave system keeps on going. I am terrified. So let me tell you that. I am seriously terrified. I'd go down there, but I can't see anything, and for some reason this light is not working properly. Look, I don't know how deep that goes down there, but I can't see anything. Claustrophobic, you don't want to be. Kinds of bugs and stuff in here. You don't want to be scared of anything. Well, I'm not scared. No, there's really nothing to be scared of. It's just, what does it end here? Can't see. But it just keeps on going. If I'd known I'd bring stronger flashlights, I have no idea how deep this goes in. I'm on my own. It's nothing really dangerous here. Just scary bats. Good place to test your fears. Which I have plenty. Oh yeah. I mean, don't be scared of that. They're completely harmless. Or are they? That's, yeah. That's not bad to explore. Pretty cool. If you're coming to Los Patos, don't forget to check out the cave. <laughs> Whoa. It's not loud again. Whoa. There's another cave. Oh boy, that's a whole new cave system here. Sí, uh, un poco todavía. It's a second cave system. Whoa! Holy bat cave, Batman! Oh, I don't know if you can see this. This is full of bats. It's gonna be bat droppings everywhere. Look at this. Ugh. They're just pooping on me. Okay, so if you're gonna come here, you better not be scared of bats. Listen to that. No, that's a bat cave. <laughs> so it turns out that the bat cave 
isn't just any random bat cave. It is the bat cave. Let me explain. There are approximately 18 bat species here on the island. Several of them are found all over Latin America, but a few are unique to the island. And out of those 18, 12 species have been found in the Los Patos caves alone. Now, there have been very few studies of the Quisqueya bats. One of the first ones from 1902 already realized that the caves in Los Patos are a very diverse location, which is not very common at all. Of course, there are bats all over the island, but Los Patos just happens to be unique for its unique location. Now, the problem with the Los Patos cave is that it's close to the Los Patos River, which is becoming increasingly popular. I hope it's not because of us. In case you haven't seen our video about Los Patos, click over here. And this popularity causes more and more noise pollution right next to where the bats are sleeping. I'm doing a video right now. Scientific research has realized that in the past people used those caves as public toilets. I mean, if there's anything that annoys bats more, it's people pooping in their bedrooms. I mean, I'd be pretty annoyed if somebody just walked in and now, with the popularity of the local river, the government uh, kind of decided to clean things up a little bit. You know, they put these stairs up there, these steps, um, they charge entrance, and that's good, you know, but the truth is, bats should not be disturbed at all. So the last thing you want is like people walking in there with, with flashlights and cameras and waving them around and... Now, fortunately, they don't actually advertise it as like a bat cave, but they call it the Cueva de los Indios, an Indian cave. So unless somebody like goes on social media, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, and announces that the cave contains very rare bats, then, uh, you know, the bats should be fine. Why should we even care about bats in the first place? I mean, they're pretty freaky, scary, right? Or so I hear. Well, the thing is bats are like bees, only more so. They pollinate a whole lot of plants, and especially fruit. Wow. Mangoes, bananas, cocoas, plantain, platanos. Can you imagine if we didn't have bats to pollinate platanos? We wouldn't have platanos. And without platanos, we wouldn't have Dominicans. And without Dominicans, there wouldn't be baseball. And without baseball, the United States would fall into a Great Depression. And with the United States in a Great Depression, the whole planet might also tumble into a Great Depression. And next thing you know, all because the Dominicans are without platanos. Okay, I exaggerate a little bit, a lot. Particularly the part about the platanos, because modern day platanos don't need pollinization. They are asexual. Basically what that means is the whole thing about the birds and the bees, yeah, that doesn't apply to them. And beyond the fact that they make sure that we have our fruit salads, bat have two more very important roles in our lives. One single bat can eat up to 8,000 mosquitoes and other bugs in one night. I mean, that's a whole lot more than those two, three mosquitoes that a can of bug spray can take care of. That escalated quickly. So we need bats to take care of all those stupid little bugs and mosquitoes and things, and especially also those that put our crops and fruits in danger. They are a lot more effective than pesticide and a lot cheaper. In fact, it is estimated that bats save the planet around $23 billion in pesticides every year. So more bats means less money spent on pesticides. And less pesticide, well, there you go. Secondly, bats are considered indicators, meaning based on the health of a bat population, you can tell the health of an entire area. The more bats, the better the local agriculture, and thus the local people. And, well, the um, bat population of Los Patos is shrinking. Cool. Very cool. Uh, pretty cool. Whew. Nothing really scary. But, uh... Not everybody can go into a bad cave. Just like that. 
Thanks guys for watching this episode. I just want to make it clear that I'm not afraid of bats. They just creep me out a little bit. We try to upload these videos weekly, so if you want to see more... There's a cat under my table. A cat, not a bat. There's a difference. Cat, bat, bat, cat. Mm. Bat, cat. This guy. But he's so cute! <laughs> Thanks to our Patreon supporters to help us with this episode. If you also want to support us, uh, check out our Patreon page. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and remember... Don't be afraid of bats. <laughs> Abur, mi gente.